Welcome back everybody to this beautiful day at Dovey Bike Park. It is stunning and today we're going to be all learning about how to build your confidence Richard! on big, whoa, <laughs> on big jumps like that. Where did he come from? Yes, sit back, relax, enjoy a little tuition with myself and Blake Sampson, the crazy bugger. Alright Rich, look at that, she's a beaut, I'll first jump, first jump, hey, look how big it is dude, yep, dude. Are, you, are you nervous, intimidated, do you know what, I would be, I'm not entirely nervous, no, uh, I'm looking forward to pushing my limits, obviously I've been jumping for a long time, lots of Enduro World Series and all sorts, but yeah. it's a different kind of jump we're going to be hitting today, so much peakier, almost yeah. much bigger jumps isn't it, it is big, and this is a good one to start on I feel, a nice big table, I think so, it's not straight like a normal tabletop, nope, it is a tabletop but it is kind of aimed to the right a little bit, yeah so a bit of a hip, yeah, obviously you're a very experienced jumper, yep, generally whenever I jump I keep things low and fast, low so and fast. It's, it's a, we're going to, we're going to try and learn something new today and boost my confidence I suppose in doing so, so yeah. I've gone up a level Full in protection. Face, yeah. gonna, because, we, you know, I've got some bangers. There's some huge jumps over there, which I think you can hit. You know, you're, I, you're confident. Oh, yeah. We just got to build that up a little bit more. It's getting out of that comfort zone. I've stuck flat pedals on. I know, that's actually, that's a good key. When you are actually riding big jumps or starting to learn how to jump and stuff, flat pedals is the way forward because you don't want to rely on your clip shoes nope. to get that back end up in the sky. No, and you don't want to crash in clips. You I can tell you that for clips. sure. Right, so you've done that correctly. I reckon we should go up. Do you want to see me come into it first and uh, work on the speed? Yeah, go on. Gauge then. Yeah, let's have a little sort of a, a Blake show how. Okay. Right. Off your trot. It's all about speed on this one. So this is actually really good to try and build your confidence. Actually having someone who's obviously a bit of a dirt jump master like Blake is... Blimey. So first things first, you gotta learn. <laughs> Do you know how fast to go, Rich? You gotta go a lot faster than I thought. <laughs> so I'm gonna learn from that mistake and I'm gonna go faster. Take two, hopefully he's got a bit more speed. <laughs> that's the speed, Rich. There we go, that's the speed. I think it's about time we followed him in. Oh, <laughs> I was short by a short? mile. Yeah, way, way short. Yeah, I cased it that time, Blake. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. I so looked behind you, cased it a little bit on top. I think I cleared the ones before, fine. Yeah. And I think I just didn't quite commit enough to this one. Yeah. Not knowing, you know, having not done it. So now I've followed you in, I see your pace. Yeah. We'll go a little bit quicker. We'll pop a little bit more and I think we'll be good. What did you think about the lip? Because that's quite a key point. Yeah, so it's quite daunting seeing that big face in yeah. front of you, but that's where having that person in front of you sort of shows you what's, yeah. what's possible. But you see, what's great about a tabletop is you, you can case it. Now, if this was a gap jump, it would be a lot more daunting. Rich's ankles would be dead. Yeah. <laughs> so it's always good to start doing bigger jumps, especially in a bike park like Dovey Bike Park yeah. or anywhere else. They've got big tabletops like this where you've got that safety net as such to mm. land on top. Yep, very true. But the key thing is on how that big table takeoff works. Yeah. Because you're going a lot faster into a bigger takeoff. Yes. So you need to figure that. And yeah, it's getting your head around, out. getting your head around like a much longer takeoff, exactly. essentially. Exactly. And if you're going to hit some big jumps, just remember that you've got the skill to do jumping. You don't just want to go jump onto a big jump <laughs> without even knowing how to do a jump, or the skills it takes nope. to do a jump. Because that's going to end bad. Yeah, we'll end no, that's going to end right, bad. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. A little bit faster. And I reckon if you... I think a bit more... Ride the berm a lot more. Yeah. Don't go too early, because you're going to slow right down. Mm -hmm. And then maybe keep to riders right on this lift. Yeah, because it's slightly shorter then as well. Yeah. I think what it was is I came up and then because I wasn't sure what to expect, I suppose, yeah, yeah. I didn't quite commit to like actually popping out of popping the jump. out of it. Whereas you obviously did. Yeah. And that's what my shortcomings were, essentially. Yeah, and naturally on this jump, because it's a hip, it's going to push that back in yeah. to the right. 
So don't fight it. Okay. Just let it do its thing. Let's do it. Oh, oh I went way wide. <laughs> Did you go wide on the takeoff? Yeah, I was like on the far right hand side of it. Really? Yeah. And that spat you weirdly. It spat me weird, but I also think I jumped probably about three, four foot longer. <laughs> I didn't quite make it again because of the extra length. Yeah. <laughs> I think we go back up well, and we do, do it, it again. again. That's <laughs> the main thing, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's really fun though, like learning. One, when you're in the air longer, it's fun to learn almost what you do. Yeah. How you would take off of a jump, especially when you're coming warp speed around a berm. Yeah, the thing is straight out of a berm, you need to straighten up quite quick. Yeah, that's if it. If you don't so straighten up, you're going to take off Because sideways. I was coming around the berm really fast, yeah. it pushed me It pushed it? pushed me out to like the left-hand side, yeah. which is the longest bit of the whole jump. Yeah. This is quite a tricky jump yeah. to start on. But hey, if you can clear this oh, with I'm, ease, I'm, we can clear all these other ones I'm going to show you. <laughs> oh! Yes! Did you get it? Yeah, bud. <laughs> nice. Yes! Third time was a charm. Third time a charm! <laughs> that See was the fun. Speed now, when you get your line, yeah. the speed, and how that jump feels. Yeah. Oh, it's the best. It was like those three things all wor worked out on each attempt, funnily enough. Yeah. So the speed was worked out on the first go. Yeah. The line was worked out on the second go, and then those two came together nicely for it to work on the third go. It's all the pieces to that puzzle, you've got to find Precisely. them, link them all up. Yeah, and, then you and with it. each time, I was I got used to how the lip felt yeah. going fast all the way up. So now the more and more you do it, the nicer and more natural that jump will feel, and you'll feel like you will get higher and bigger. I don't even need you anymore. I'm gonna go no. do it on my own. Oh, you still, okay. I, I, I see you later, Blake. See ya. Cheers. What, Thanks, what, Blake. Okay, bye. What happens when the jumps get bigger? Do you want a toe in there? Don't know. Find out. That's it. What happens if you haven't got one of me? to help you train you in, to work out the speed you need, someone that's jumped the jump already, and you're all on your own, well, heaven forbid you're gonna go out there and ride a humongous jump on your own in the wilderness, because you don't wanna be doing that. You wanna go to somewhere like a bike park, and you wanna hit some jumps for the first time, knowing there's gonna be people around if something were to go wrong. Now, what I like to do, is I like to just roll into, the, into that section, walk it, but basically riding with your bike, walk it with your bike, feeling the transitions of the jump, looking at the length of that jump, seeing how fast you need to go, seeing what obstacles are gonna be in front of you, if there's a, if like a number of jumps, if they get bigger and bigger, and then work up slowly. Especially when it's a tabletop, that's gonna be the easiest one to work up to because you can land on the top. Now, for me, I like to just scope it, go slow. If I case the first one, right, stop, reassess, go back to the top, and clear the first one, and then after that, it'll be a domino effect. It'll be like a chain reaction. The speed will be there. You know you've got the skill to do the jump already. So just holding that speed, holding your confidence, and knowing that you can do the jump, and continue through. That's quick and easy. to the pace, but I didn't get the pot, but I got it. I reckon you gotta go way faster. I'm I going just, faster. I felt good with the speed, but I was a bit nervous, I'll be honest. So I kept it a bit too low and just dun -dun over, but yeah. I made it. Yeah. Faster, <laughs> and the aim of the game, Richard. 
I saw you pedaling, man. Like you were. I'm going hammer time again. You were. I didn't put pedal as much, there. but I went full tuck. Thing is, when you go faster, you just follow the lip up. Yeah. You don't pop. But that's that. I mean, that comes back nicely. So, for building confidence, the commitment side of it is really important because I committed to the speed. Yeah. But I didn't commit to the pop off the top to really get, and that's why I crept over. But I think this time, when I I now know I've got my the pace is good. So if yeah. I, in my head, that confidence is sort of slightly built up yeah. to now pop it and boost a bit more out of the lip yeah. and hopefully be sound. Right. Ah. I'm going way faster. Third time. Again? Yeah, I'm going 100% quicker because it's safe. Yeah, no, but that look, is... you're going fast there. You're only going about yay high. Look how high it is from where you are to there. That's the beauty about a step up. You're yeah. not falling enough. You're so not that's, a, that's actually a really great point, isn't it? That yeah. when you are building your confidence, step ups are great because although we must be doing, I don't know, 30 mile an hour, whatever I'm in. I'm going to do it on my Garmin. Yeah, and see. but like the actual distance to crash yeah. is not very high. No. So it's good for of, building confidence. Good, good for building confidence. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Third time's a charm then, Blake. Both oh, cleared Rich. it nice and smooth. Incredible. But yeah. look, there's always room for improvements when doing jerk jumping That's or true. jumping or big jumps. Like all that landing, you can go higher. It's like endless. That's true. I was about halfway up then, so there is plenty of room to keep going. 100%. And we clocked 30.8 mile an hour into that jump. No way. Yeah. So what's that, about 42K? Something like that, yeah. 42-ish K? That's fast. That's pretty quick. That's incredi. You could go faster as well. Imagine if that was dry. Whoa. <laughs> Big over jump and die. Anyway, there you go, Rich. I reckon uh, we should mosey on back down. Let's, let's mosey on the track. To the next. Right, moving on into a rhythm section of uh, three big jumps. Take That's a look at these, right? There's yep. three tabletops. Now, the key thing to take away from this or to do is speed is your friend. Mm, always. You've got to be committed. And you've got to be calculated to what you need to do to get the speed to get into this. Like your setup. There's yeah. a setup jump in the front there. Right at the top is a road gap. Now, if you case that, you're not going to have the speed. So Bang you've got to on. commit to road gaps as well as hitting a big jump. It, yeah, exactly right. And actually, if you don't have the speed, say if you case this one, you're never going to make the next one. So it's just, it's actually just dangerous almost to carry on. And you know, these are tables, so you can kind of blag it. But if there was holes in the middle. Oh, no go. <laughs> Brakes on, Game I've over. been there, and I've hurt myself. Pull out. Really bad, yeah. Pull out, exactly. Right, what do you want to do? Do you want to watch me hit it so you can s calculate the speed I'm going into it and the technique, or do you just want to follow me in? Yeah, dude, I think I'd quite like to follow you in and let's hit them. Yeah, that is probably let's the do best this. way. All right. Rich, that was good. That was spot on. That was a smooth run through. The more and more you do it, yeah, it kind of easier it gets. Yeah. Did you clear it? I saw you I clear did. that one. Yeah, I cleared all three. Uh, I was quicker. I kept it low over that one again, but I just really worked the landing and worked the takeoff a bit more. Yeah. A bit tighter, and yeah, yeah, sailed through. So when you are hitting big jumps, like I said at the beginning, it's all about calculation. Yeah. It's about getting the right speed yeah. clearing big jumps like this. Yeah, for sure. And if you come in faint-hearted and you think you're going too fast, but you're not, yeah. and you work the lip at high speed, as in if you preload that lip too much at the beginning, yeah. it's got a tendency to pop up yeah. and send you over the bars a little. And when you're, interesting, when you're linking big ones together like this, it's almost no point doing the second or the third until you've got that first one nailed. Exactly, because if you can't clear the first one... You ain't clearing the well, you're rest. Well, you're not going to clear this no. one, are you? Let's clear them again. Ready? Yeah. <laughs>
Rich, you leveled up. You went from small to big to biggest. Well, that was yeah. some big jumps today. Yeah, dude, I've had a wicked time. We've hit some proper senders, haven't we, we have. today? It's been yeah. really fun. Thank you for sort of showing me how I can up my confidence, if you like, for when it does get really, really big. Yeah. But it doesn't always have to get really, really big, does it? No, it doesn't. If you are basically leveling up within your own skills. You don't have to think, oh my gosh, now I can hit a jump as size of this or what we've previously done in this video. Just go step by step. Don't go and jump in the deep end because it can end terribly bad. It's a matter of perception for size, it isn't is. it? Yeah, but yeah. Thank you very much for joining us today, everyone. It's been wicked fun. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. Give us a little like, why not? Hit subscribe and I think we'll catch them next time. Shall we, Blake? Oh, 100%, maybe in the air. Oh, doodle pip. Au revoir.